Hello, uh, Marcus Crawford, uh, or as I'm known on my YouTube channel, Idaho Sledhead here. Hey, uh, I'm going to take the little uh, Hubson Zeno up today. Uh, it's been a few days since I've been able to fly because of uh, because of weather. Uh, we've had uh, it got it got pretty cold, and we had some snow here. Although that has moderated to a large degree, <clears throat> I've got my anemometer here. Uh, I can get it on here. We'll see showing about a two mile an hour wind today. We got the Zeno. <clears throat> We're going to take it up in the air. Uh, one of my fellow uh, uh, YouTubers that flies the Zeno a lot, a, a gentleman by the name of Gorilla Man, uh, the other day I was looking at one of his videos uh, where he did a waypoint mission with it and I realized that I had not done a waypoint mission yet with the Zeno. Okay, so we're going to get it up in the air and uh, there's a couple of different ways you can fly uh, waypoint missions with the Zeno. I'm, today uh, I'm going to try the one where you actually draw the route uh, with your finger on the controller and, uh, and have it fly the route. The other way is you fly it to each waypoint set it as a waypoint and then the drone will follow that route and it also gives you an opportunity at that point to set the direction that you want the Xeno uh, to point. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have uh, enough battery to try give both of those a try today so we're going to do the ones where you at the one where you actually draw the uh, waypoint mission on the screen and uh, hopefully the Xeno will uh, point straight ahead and uh, and we'll give that a shot and see what happens. The other thing I need to mention is uh, I have not flown since the upgrade to the version 3.3 of the camera firmware so I have that loaded and so I'm anxious to see uh, how that turns out. Okay we're gonna get the little Xeno up in the air here and uh, try out that uh, that new video the version of the camera firmware. We're gonna do an auto takeoff. Uh, let's check and see if it uh, rises and sinks like it's done in the past. So there a little bit of a sink, but it did not uh, it did not fall completely down. So uh, uh, let's uh, I'm going to back it off and uh, go up in the air and uh, do a 360 degree uh, pan or panorama shot as they uh, call it uh, just so that we can uh, see how the new uh, camera uh, firmware is uh, is working. So I'm starting video now. Video is on. Let's back it up. We'll go up about uh, oh I don't know 50 meters or so. Okay, we're up about 52 meters. Going into uh, uh, creative video. Says I must stop the current recording. Okay, I forgot about that. Did so. Creative video again. Panorama shot. And I've already got it set to a 360. I'm going to speed it up just a little. Go. So we've done a lot of those uh, panoramas before, so this will give us uh, kind of a baseline and we'll see how the new software is working out. Boy, move the camera back up here. Getting used to the uh, the little uh, pocket with the uh, with the thumb wheel attachment, which is kind of handy. So uh, it's just about uh, got the 360 completed. I see we're getting a little bit of rain. Uh, that shouldn't hurt anything as long as it doesn't come down too hard here. We will uh, we'll continue with our mission. Okay, so it's back in GPS hold. I'm going to start the video again. Video has started. Uh, let's see if we can uh, 
do a, uh, a waypoint video. So uh, we're gonna do uh, mission planning. And so it says that I should be able to, yeah, there we go. As you can see on the screen, so hopefully I can draw this out. So, so bear with me here. I'm gonna just kind of draw a perimeter around the park here. Well, that didn't uh, that didn't work out very well. So maybe you need to stop every so often. So let's. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, I, I, it could be. I'm gonna set the height at uh, about uh, roughly 50 meters. Boy, it's really sensitive. Well, that's gonna be close enough. So I drew that circle around the park. I, it's only showing two waypoints on here. I don't know if it's going to. Uh, do that but I'm gonna hit submit it says upload successful uh, now let's see what it does so it looks like it's flying to the uh, to the first waypoint let's see if it uh, I don't know if it will just fly directly to that second waypoint if it or if it will do the route that you saw me draw on the screen yeah it looks like it's just going back to that second waypoint yeah, so I don't I don't know what I did wrong there, but we'll uh, we'll give it another uh, another shot here. Let's let's just let it go to that second waypoint and see what it does. But I like that ability to be able to draw the waypoint on the map. Uh, but clearly, I don't know if I needed to stop it. Uh, you know, pick up my finger at each area. I suspect I should have drawn it in individual lines. Is what my suspicion is. Uh, although when I looked at their tutorial video, Hubson's tutorial video, it looked like they just drew a circle and it created waypoints around that circle. So, so I don't know. So now it says waypoint mission is complete. Let's get back in here. Let's, uh, let's go back in. Let's go back into waypoints. Try that again. Uh, do waypoint planning. And, uh, so, so the, the, the Xeno is just hovering at its last position. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm going to hit draw and I'm going to draw and, oh wow, so it really, I need to, I need to, yeah, something, something weird happened here. So, oh, delete, there we go. Yep, so we're gonna delete the whole thing. So we deleted that, so let's, uh, let's try again here. Well, don't touch the screen while you're trying to do this, so we'll start over. Okay, sorry about this, folks. Let's, uh, let, we're down to 50% battery, so uh, let's give this a shot. So draw, I hit draw. Okay, there's one. Looks like I need to hit draw again. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's not as easy as it looks. So I'm going to delete. We're going to try again here. So we're going to hit... Uh, maybe I just need to try the points here. So let's try that. There's one, two, three, four, and we'll make five right in the middle here. So that, I think using the points, just drawing it out for me just didn't work there. So let's submit and let's uh, send it on its way. Yeah, so we're quickly running out of battery, so I don't even know if it'll make it around the whole circuit here. We're down to 45% battery. I can see the Xeno in front of me. It's not moving very fast. It's pretty cool to watch it hit the waypoints here. It's, uh, and, and let me say this, it is flying in a straight line. In other words, the nose of the Xeno is going straight to the waypoint. So I can tell you right now 
This is the part of the video in post-production where, where I'll speed it up by about five times. Uh, maybe we'll speed ramp it, slow it down in areas, but uh, anyway, yeah, this looks like it's gonna take a little bit, but uh, wow, the, the, it's, it's, it's hitting its waypoints. So that was the other thing I was gonna, I, I'd forgotten to mention. So waypoint mode is something that my uh, $1,250 uh, Mavic Pro Zoom does not have, uh, that, the, that the Xeno does have. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. If you're trying to fly a, uh, a scenic mission over something, some kind of geological, some, or whatever it happens to be that, you, that you're trying to, to video or photograph, I can see where putting it into a waypoint mission would be pretty cool because you know you're going to get straight lines and and uh, you're you're not going to have issues with your uh, uh, accidentally yawing the drone on the controls or or something like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's going. Let's go back. I'm going to go back into the uh, the waypoint screen here. So we can see that it's uh, on its way from two to three, down to 36% battery. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, boy, I, the, the other thing that I want to mention on this video today is how pleased I am uh, with the Wi-Fi connection on the Xeno for the for the t t tough start that I had with this drone and having Wi-Fi dropouts and stuff. And, and I will say that I believe that all of those issues were my own fault, were me not uh, upgrading the, the firmware correctly, uh, but uh, it is, this is really very powerful for a Wi-Fi drone. Uh, it, it's got a good, solid, strong connection. So we're almost to waypoint number four. Okay, we made it to waypoint number four. It's telling me the battery level is at uh, 30%. Yeah, so now it's telling me waypoint mission complete. So uh, excellent, went to uh, number five there. Uh, so I think at this point, uh, I just want to uh, fly it around a little bit and so that we can check out the uh, the new camera firmware and and uh, see how well that's all working out. So uh, yeah, we'll yacht back around this way a little bit. Let's go for a little flight. So out towards this uh, open field here and you can see a Walmart there in the distance. I often fly out there so let's head full speed out that way. Boy there again. Uh, I don't know I might have been a little off on the joystick there so I was thought I was getting some yaw but yeah there we are it well Okay, so it's going into return mode here, uh, which is good. It hit 25%, hit return mode, so uh, let's see how close it gets. Uh, so I forgot to bring my landing pad today, so I 
just used the, the part of the concrete here at the park uh, to take off on. Typically, I've seen the drone, it's usually within three to six feet of uh, landing. I hear it above me, so let's drop the camera down. There we are. We'll see how close we get. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna be in the grass. Well, maybe, it's hard to tell. Yeah, she's coming down, she's gonna be in the grass here. Okie dokie, so uh, yeah, it uh, when it touched down there in the grass, I don't think it liked that very well, and I actually uh, physically held down the uh, the uh, the joysticks the joystick to shut down the uh, motors. So uh, as usual, uh, never forget to uh, end your video so that you don't lose it. So turning that off now, and uh, I'm gonna. I will, uh, I will shut everything down and, uh, and we'll do a little conclusion here. In conclusion, man, is this a cool little drone or what? Uh, for $369, uh, this thing is just amazing. The, uh, the, what they've packed, uh, the technology that they've packed into this. Uh, you know, is it uh, as smooth and as refined as a Mavic Pro? No, it's it's not. But does it fly really good? And and does it do what they say it's going to do? Yeah, absolutely. And it's three hundred and sixty-nine bucks on Hubson's website, uh, which, by the way, I'll provide a link below. Uh, if you do buy it from Hubson, I'd appreciate you using my link. It helps support my channel. Uh, but uh, I'm just having more fun with this thing. Man, I, I just am going to repeat it one more time. If you're just starting out in this business or, or, or in flying drones, or even if you're, you've are you been doing it for a while like I and some of my friends have, you just can't hardly go wrong with this thing. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's just a fun little drone. You know, if you follow their instructions and do everything uh, like they ask you to do, uh, you get a good connection. It'll fly out for a kilometer. Uh, anyway... That's enough of that. Could you tell I had fun today? Because I absolutely did. Uh, so uh, with that, again, uh, this is uh, Marcus Crawford, or uh, as I've known on my YouTube channel, Idaho Sledhead, uh, out. And uh, again, if you like this kind of content, uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.